Hi, welcome to another video. So, OpenAI recently launched the ChatGPT agent, which is also called Odyssey by some. It is an agent that is basically like Manus. I mean, it costs $200 to use it as of now, because Plus subscribers haven't got access, and what it does is also super basic. Like, it can basically just scrape pages, do searches, perform deep research, as well as navigate through browsers, which is fine. But there are multiple tools that have already been doing this for a while, and I have actually shown how you can do that before as well. But today, I thought I'd show you guys how you can easily create your own AI agent that is similar to something like the chat GPT agent, but completely free. To do that, I'll be using only one tool as a wrapper for MCPs that works amazingly well. Most of you probably already use it, which is RuCode, Klein, or KiloCode. It is already super great at coding, and if you combine it with MCPs, then it can basically become an agent that accomplishes almost anything for you. I'll be using KiloCode for this, as most of you will be able to use it for free because it gives you $20 of free credits. You can easily give this a try without any investment, which is quite good. So, you can easily open up VS Code and then get Kilo Code installed as well. Once it is installed, go ahead to the settings and create a new profile. Then, you have to select the provider and model. Well, I'll be using Kimi because I really like it, and it is open weights, super cheap, and should be enough for us. Also, Kimi is not a multimodal model, so it might be a bit bad at navigating through sites, but it works fine enough for me. I don't think that graphical navigation is required at all, as most of the text-based browsers work well. But if you do want to use that, then you can use Gemini 2.5 Flash or Claude as well, and you'll get that option within Kilo Code itself because it has that support built in. Anyway, now we can go ahead and integrate some MCP servers with it. Integrating some MCP servers is required in order to give it the necessary tools to work with. You can go to the MCP options and then open up the MCP config for global and then set up these MCP servers. First, we have the fetch MCP server. This one comes in most handy for URL scraping. It is actually made by Anthropic themselves and easily allows you to scrape any URL. But now, you would also need something to search for you as well. I use Firecrawl for this, as it combines search, scraping, and crawling all in one MCP server. And that works well for me. The free tier is also more than enough for me to use, which is kind of cool as well. It also has the deep research tool that makes it able to do deep research on any topic. But you can also use Serper MCP as well, and that also works fine. Another one that I have is the Browser Use MCP Server Tool. This one gives your AI two tools, which are Deep Research and Browser Navigator. They allow your coder to use it accordingly, and you can actually configure some other model in it. It doesn't require multimodality either, and works well. So, that is probably all you need to configure an agent like ChatGPT agent. Another thing that the ChatGPT agent has is connectors with multiple services like Notion and others. There are also official MCP servers for some of those services that you can use as well, based on your workflow. Now let me just show you how you can use it as well. But, before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is an AI platform that combines all the best AI models and experiences at one place. 
it allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of others models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Also, make sure to use my coupon code AICODEKING20 to get an additional 20% off. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now, back to the video. I'm going to ask it to do research for a Japan trip plan, and then create a site where I can view it interactively as well. Now, it will go ahead and start to work. In it, what you'll see is that it will go ahead and start to work on it by using the MCP servers. For example, it can easily use Firecrawl for search along with the Fetch MCP tool or anything like that, which is quite awesome if you ask me. That is mainly how it works, at least for me. In a bit, it will just get done, and you can now go ahead and see the actual thing that it created here, which looks pretty awesome as well. So, that is also cool to see. You can also ask it to do any task for you, and it should be able to do it quite easily as well. You can use it with all kinds of models, it's open source, you can configure it to your liking, and guess what? You can actually use it completely free, because it doesn't cost $300. You can easily use it, and configure it to your liking as well, if you wish to do that. That is also kind of cool. You can also try to use Claude or Gemini, and KiloCode supports browser navigation with those models as well, which means you can have a much more reliable agent that can navigate on the web and do stuff for you, which is also pretty awesome. It's all up to you how you want to set it up, and it will just get the stuff done for you. You can also add rules or add system prompts and create a custom agent mode in here for that. You can ask it to follow a specific pattern, like first search, then scrape, and then navigate, or something like that, to make it perform better on your tasks. You can also integrate something like browser base or custom integrations related to your workflow, like Notion, Google Sheets, or things like that, and automate the tasks for you. So, that is also cool. You can already use it for general coding, and their system prompts, and everything are already set up for that, as well as using the MCP servers effortlessly. So, that shouldn't be an issue either. You can also use something like Claude Code as well. If that is what you use, then you can easily just configure these MCPs there, and that should also work fine. So, go ahead and use it and try it without paying hundreds of dollars for something that doesn't even work that well, can't be customized, and isn't great for privacy. I was using this for a while, and I thought to talk about this as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!